Hello everybody, I'm so excited that I have a new machine and it's actually a cover stitch and it's the Juki brand. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing so I can get started in using it. notches and stuff on how to fix it. We have Banshee come with some needles. Um, actually, I don't normally use these to cover my machines, but I'm definitely going to start covering my uh, machines so no dust and stuff will get on them. We have a screwdriver. We got some tweezers, a little brush, stuff for the thread. And then we have cord. Go ahead and take this out. I am so excited to start using this machine. I've been wanting this for a couple years now. My husband finally bought it for Christmas for me. So thanks to him for that. And then we have this. I'm assuming this is for thread. Ooh, look at that. So excited to test it out. That's all that comes in. Oh, we got some extra things to how to work it. A lot of times people don't really read the instructions. I make sure I get everything out. It's pretty heavy. Up. Let me bring the camera down so you get a better view. So here's a better view of it. So it looks like it has thread on it already. Let me get rid of this. Maybe nobody eating it. I don't know how to use it. It comes with some fabric for you to test it out. Oh, this is oh, it gets oh, this is because <clears throat> sometimes what people do is this they'll tie a knot so you don't have to uh, thread it yourself. So I'm going to try to do that. But normally every time I try to do it, the knot comes undone. So I'm going to try to do it this time so I don't have to thread it. Oh, and it's, it sticks to the table. I was wondering why it wasn't why it wasn't moving. So it has these on the bottom so it can stick to the table. That's nice. So it won't sh uh, shake around or shift around. So let me see. Where does this go? Try to figure out where stuff goes. So it looks like this goes back here. Right there. Stick it. <laughs> Stick it to the okay, and 
this goes like this way. Oh, it tells you what color each one goes to. So let me, I have some black thread. Let me plug, plug it in first. Oh, let me turn it sideways so you guys can see. wasn't gonna work <laughs> there's a slow delay to the light coming on so let me try to thread it so I use the tweezers that they come with Do it sideways because that ain't gonna be able to, gonna be able to really see me trying to thread it. Once I figure out how to thread it, I'm going to do a video of how you thread it. But now I'm just going to try to tie the knot to see if it goes through like that. Like connecting these two together. each one when I got my uh, serger it actually came with some thread like little the little small spools of thread this one doesn't come with thread because that one was ready to go out the box this one you have to make sure you have thread so I'm just trying to tie a knot to make sure Okay, so I think that goes there, and then we're going to go back here to the blue one. Match it up with the color. Wait, because these two, these two have the same. Oh, so you must. Oh, I see, I see. You must thread through both of them. Like I say, wait, it's an extra loop. So, okay. I see. What are you supposed to do?
assuming this goes on these two books because they're the same color. Sorry if you hear the whole noise in the background. It's just the, uh, the heater. I'm in the basement. So you're going to hear that. When the heat, especially when the heater, the heat's on because it's so cold down here. Make sure it comes off right. And this is the green one. So this one. And once I get my other machine fixed, I will be putting a, a lot more sewing videos out. Some of them I will do tutorials. Other ones I'll just do a speed through of me just sewing stuff. And I may have a couple special guesses pop up here and there. The special guests I'm talking about my kids. So yeah, I may have them pop up every once in a while to help out with a video. Especially my daughter because she loves to sew. this here and then how do you hook this Let me go like that now I don't know if I'm doing this uh, putting these on the, the hooks the right way but we're going to see I'm just trying to do all this so I don't have to thread the machine because I just want to test it out and see how it works without really uh, threading the machine but I will learn how to thread it so I can know how to do that but we're just tying off a knot on an existing thread so that it'll run hopefully it'll go through smoothly and won't mess up or anything so we'll see I'm excited Fight it, fight it, fight it. Okay, so this is, let's go this way. Okay, I think, I think I have <laughs> all of them on right, so I'm going to see. Let's turn this on. First time using a cover stitch. So let's see. I'm nervous. Where'd it go? Should I just do the... Uh-oh. How do you lift? Hmm, I gotta figure out how to lift it. Uh, okay, so this is already what they did. So let me just get some scissors and cut it. to it. Lift my needle up. Fix the thread. I said, why is it like you? Oh, this is... It has three needles. Oh, so I probably can have to take one out. But yeah, it has three needles. I didn't know it has had three needles. I'm gonna put this up under, and then I'm gonna go slow. Oh, I said slow, but it went fast. Uh oh, I didn't go as planned. 
messed up. Lift this up. I'm about to watch a video of how to release. I'm like that's the oh, that one came through. Got one needle through. <laughs> So yeah, I'm at the. It started off good. Then it got a little messed up. So I wanted to see. But I didn't know it had three. I didn't know it had three needles. So I'm at to go and figure this out. So. I right, watched a couple of videos of how to thread it. I might have to take one of the needles out. Because I only want two needles. I don't want three needles. But it came out good the first, first time using a cover stitch. I just got to watch some videos on it. So I can test it out on this type of fabric before I go ahead and ruin my good fabric. And then I have these fabrics that I plan on making something with. It came out so cute. I can't wait to make. I'm still deciding on what to make with it. Because what I, what I have in mind to make with it, I don't know if it will look right. Or I don't know if it will. If the pattern will be able to handle this type of fabric. So thanks again for watching. Video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos. I will be doing more sewing videos and more tutorials. Once I get my little station set up, because we just moved. And I'm slowly getting my stuff down into the basement to set up to where I will be at with my sewing stuff. And I have a lot of sewing videos in mind that I want to do. I want to do, of course, I'm going to do some more tutorials on some of the patterns. And I'm also going to do some sew along videos. So you can just, because I know a lot of people like to just watch people sew. Because I, I sometimes just sit there and watch people sew videos. And thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye. so much quieter I just gotta get used to cut cut this so you guys I figured it out
hopefully I'll work on figuring out the tension of it. Gotta keep playing around with that, but other than that, I figured it out. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do some more so I can get this lined up right. <laughs> 